By now, you have probably seen ads on issue one, the abortion amendment, which voters will be deciding on in the November general election. Tonight, Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trow looks at who is behind those ads and how much they cost and why you're only going to see more of them in the coming days. It's the home stretch before the November election. And ads on issue one are flooding the airways. On issue one. Issue one. Issue one. Inundating with supporters' ads. Yes stops Ohio's extreme abortion ban. And opponents. Issue one is just not right for Ohio. Issue one gives voters the choice if they want to legalize and protect access to abortion and contraception. And it's a cause that Jamie Manson with Catholics for Choice has donated nearly $40,000 to. People of faith speak up and take back the narrative from the bishops who insist you cannot be Catholic and support abortion rights. And although anti-abortion group created equals, Mark Harrington hasn't donated that much to the opposition. He has spent $1.3 million on TV ads. Late-term abortions do happen, despite what the other side is saying and that uh, if issue one passes, they will expand in Ohio. And they're not just on your television. They're on your freeways. The billboards are meant to tell Catholics they are not alone. And Harrington had the same idea. We generally get outspent. Uh, so our ads really have to get to the heart of the matter. He's right. Campaign finance disclosures show Ohioans United for Reproductive Rights has raised three times the amount of money that anti-issue one group Protect Women Ohio has received. OURR has pulled in about 30 million while PWO sits at 10 million. The pro-abortion group has spent roughly 21 million on media and ad buys, while the anti-abortion group has spent about 6.8 million. Organize and mobilize and spend a little bit of money making it clear where Catholics actually stand on this issue. Both supporters and opponents will be increasing their efforts as Election Day gets closer. So you'll see even more ads all the way through November 7th. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan Trout reporting.